Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 27th of 2023. Well, it is titled Aurora over Arctic Henge. So what do we see here? Well, here we see in the foreground a part of northern Iceland, the Arctic henge of rock structures here, which were aligned up toward the north, uh, so toward the exact north on one side and the exact south on the other. So one of those ancient monuments used probably for some court of timekeeping as they are aligned with the stars. Now up above we see the aurora and the distinct green color we associate with aurora but also some of the higher reds and purples in the aurora as well. Now aurora can have many different colors depending on exactly where in the atmosphere is it, it is occurring. The green is the most prominent and still in very high in the atmosphere but is caused by oxygen atoms that are excited by those particles from the sun. Now the other colors are caused either by oxygen atoms higher up or some caused by nitrogen atoms. And these are all very high up in Earth's atmosphere and it's just a glow of the atmosphere caused by those charged particles from the sun that strike it and then follow along the magnetic field lines until those field lines cross into Earth's atmosphere. And at that point they excite atoms when they strike them and give off the very distinct glows that we see. Now for the northern hemisphere our northern uh, north magnetic pole is actually in northern Canada. So areas around that and in a circle around that will actually be the areas that get the most auroral activity. And as the sun can increases its activity we will see even more aurora like this. Now we also see of course a number of stars in the sky and you'll note that the stars can be seen through the aurora. The aurora is not a cloud it is simply a glow in the sky. Now let's go ahead and label some of these and you can actually see various things. Polaris is the relatively bright star up at the top and we can see a number of the constellations there including Ursa Major just above the uh, arch here and a number of others Leo right within the arch uh, right outside the arch I should say to the left Gemini just to the right Hydra within it and Orion off just above the horizon there out to the right hand side within the Aurora. Now you can also take a look by taking the uh, annotations off and see if you can still recognize some of those constellations. Some things like the belt of Orion will stand out as will the Big Dipper. But when you have a nice clear sight and can see this many stars it can make it very difficult to pick out the individual constellations. And so the labeling like this actually helps you better be better able to identify these objects. So that was our picture of the day for March 27th of 2023. It was titled Aurora over Arctic Henge. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be green flash flash flash. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.